Hey everyone. Hi Silen. Aloha. How are you guys? Aloha. Hi Sai. Good to see you everyone. This is our umpteenth actually. What episode are we on? 32. I we're we're on 32 33. already. We're All in right. the second week 32. of December. Would you ever have thought? We keep saying that every show. Would you think? Yep. You have thought we would be here, you know, but um, I, I want to say I keep hearing comments from everyone about how much they enjoy the show, how much they look forward to the show, how much they're learning from the show. And uh, it, so it's amazing, you know, the, you and DJ and uh, Chris and everybody, Jacob, the, this show is really bringing so much, not only enjoyment, uh, it's bringing education to everyone out there. And we're glad you're joining us. So please uh, stay with us. Uh, we're, we're heading into 2021 soon, but boy, it doesn't look like a lot of things are gonna change very quickly, huh, Lynn? <laughs> Yep, yep. Um, so today, John had just asked before we went live, what was our count today for our uh, COVID virus tracker here in the state of Hawaii? And we did pretty well today. T today was a 53. Oh. Wow, so good. Doing better, Yay. Hawaii. We're doing better. So keep it up. Uh, don't, don't let your guard down. You know, we all have to stay vigilant. But uh, this is a step in the right direction. So good job. Everyone. And just just as a matter of relativity, you know, I, I looked up uh, Okinawa and Okinawa is like, oh, we're doing so bad. We're doing so bad. We had 28 today. It's like, oh, <laughs> okay. But uh, yeah. they're, luckily they're doing they're doing pretty good. Um, I, I think over the last few weeks, they've been 20, you know, under 30. Oh, so yeah, if we can all keep our, keep our counts low, um, hopefully we'll have a day soon where we can all come visit each other again. You know, we want to welcome our friends from Okinawa and all over the world, really, to um, yeah. come visit again. And I, I really, really can't wait until I can go make my trips, uh, especially to Japan and Okinawa again. So mm -hmm. we'll get there. We'll get there soon, hopefully. Yep. Just, just want to remind. Okay, I don't know if it's happening to everyone else. I, I'm i losing uh, Lynn's uh, audio. I hope uh, all of you can uh, either hear her. More people watch our YouTube show and more people sharing this content online because it looks like it's, you know, it's, it's really shareable, easy, um, sorry, easy to share content that you can all um, share with friends and family. So make sure you like and subscribe and you'll keep getting those notifications when we put out new videos. All right. We also have, um, I wanted to share, we did send out a purple blast today, but we want to make sure that we are also telling you about some stuff that's on our HUOA website. Um, so real quick, we want to share some news from our one of our clubs, the Hui O Lao Lima. Uh, uh, we call them the Hui O Lao Lima ladies. Uh, they are doing a holiday donation drive-by by Fernhurst YWCA. And this is gonna be next week, Saturday, oh wait, no. This week, Saturday, yep, the 12th, week. from 10 a.m. to tw to 12 o'clock noon at Jikoen. So for those of you who know Jikoen, corner of School Street and Kali, um, and yeah, you can see on the right here, I'll talk about the bentos later, but the right over here, uh, if you want more information, you can go to huoa.org and click on the link there and it'll tell you what kind of stuff they're looking for, uh, who it's gonna go to, which is a lot of the women who are um, who are looking to start uh, their lives over again. So it's a really good cause. Uh, Fernhurst and the YWCA does a wonderful um, service to our community. So they have, a, they have some specific items that they're looking for. So go take a look and you can drop it off this Saturday at Jikoen from 10 to noon. Also wanted to quickly share, um, sorry, you saw the bentos on the left side of that, I, know, of I, was, HOA, I was just staring HOA. at the bentos. Um, we also are starting to take orders for our virtual Uchinan Chu of the Year and installation celebration happening January 16th on Saturday, where we're going to install a new HEOA president, <laughs> <laughs> Patrick Miyashiro. And what I'd really like to announce is also that you can 
This is our first time doing it virtually. And so what we're gonna do is have a bento drive through pickup so we can all still eat together and enjoy the program together. So we have two options for you to choose from. You can go online and order your bentos online. It's a $20 package, so you get a bento. There's a few other things, the program will like a little gift and a few things that come in your installation package. I should call it your bento package. So uh, please join us. Uh, this is the very first time we're doing this. So we're really excited about all the different ways we're gonna celebrate virtually. We're making slideshows, videos, and I just wanna congratulate Pat Miyashiro and president-elect David Jones, who is behind the scenes right now, controlling the, the, um, he's the, he's the wizard behind the Oz, you know, so. <laughs> Truly a wizard, if, so uh, if I may share. just to make sure that everyone is well aware. There's lots of information on our website. Um, and I hope you can all um, access it there. Lots more information there. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, you know, uh -oh. DJ is truly a wizard because he's he's controlling it from John. a neighbor island, I believe. I can't hear John, so I'm gonna keep going. Um, okay. Um, okay. Testing. We also have to share news about the Hawaii Youth <laughs> Symphony. Um, that they, we are they're having a really exciting uh, program with a virtual fundraising event. And one of the main features are gonna be Jake Shimabukuro and Raitea Helm. It's actually happening tonight. Uh, also featuring the Naha High School Okinawan students playing orchestra version of Nada So So. It's gonna be a great collaboration with the Okinawan students here in Hawaii. Um, and it's gonna be, it's on tonight. So I know it's like eight o'clock tonight. Uh, so there might be some overlap. You can DVR it, record it, uh, but wanted to make sure that, you know, we have one of our past Yuntaku Live and HUOA Legacy Award winners, Jake Shimabukuro, playing on there tonight. And I believe it is on TV. Uh, I'm trying to see which stage. Hawaii News Now, KHNL tonight, and then KGMB on K5, sorry, on the 10th on Thursday. So, okay. Uh, so just wanted to share that information. It's a, it's a virtual fundraiser again. So we do also have our very first HOA virtual craft fair happening uh, right now. Actually, it's ongoing until now, until January 15th. And lots of fun stuff online. If you go to our virtual craft fair uh, website, you can see more information of all the different vendors click on the link um, and then it'll take you to their websites. A lot of these vendors already have their own websites. And so we're just kind of a directory to tell you which ones are usually part of our HOA um, winter craft fair, which I really missed this year. You know, I like, um, and you're in the hall, like it's all busy, right? And yeah, you kind of have to go early to get the good stuff because a lot of it is um, only one of a kind things. And so, uh, I went ahead and already bought a bunch of stuff online and hopefully it gets here soon so I can have to ship it out again later on. Okay, John, you there? Let's see. I'm here, uh, can you hear me? Uh -oh. Okay, sorry, I still don't hear him. Uh oh. So I am going to go ahead and... Uh -oh. Can everyone else hear me? Can can people in the audience hear John? Uh, if you can, give me a head up. Uh, give me a. Can everyone else, anyone else, hear me? Okay. That's okay. I'm used to talking to myself anyway. <laughs> now, now I lost. Uh, I lost Lynn. I can't hear Lynn. <laughs> so. <laughs> But uh, I hope uh, all of you out there are, again, uh, tuning in because not only you want to hear us uh, going on and off, but uh, hopefully someone can hear me. Uh, I can't hear Lynn. Okay. And, well, oh, there we go. I can hear you now, Lynn. I, I can yeah. hear John. Okay. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> let's try. Can you guys hear me? I'm going to take my AirPods out real quick. I can hear Lynn. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my. Uh... Hello, can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. Let's can you hear me? hear me? Yeah, let's go with that. All right, wow, that was weird. 
Okay. 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 Right. So let's right. let's head on over to our special guest tonight. And uh, you know, he's someone I've known for quite a while. Uh, you know, if there's one thing about our guest tonight is I like literally never see him without a huge smile on his face. Uh, you know, it, I, I used to see him all kinds of places, definitely at the Bun dances. If he's not up in the Yagura playing his Sanchin, he's, you know, sitting and enjoying uh, his uh, energy juice somewhere, but always smiling, always laughing. So please help us welcome tonight, Scotty Moriyama. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi, Long time no see. <laughs> Long time no see. Okay. Can you folks hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, good. good. Okay. Yeah. So sorry. That was sure. my fault, everyone. I'm sorry. That was my oh, fault. No. My AirPods that were sticking out of my ear, like, <laughs> just like out or something. Anyway, sorry. I uh, just want to say uh, thank you so much to uh, David, uh, Lynn, and uh, John for inviting me to the Yintaku Live. Uh, all I can say this past week, it's just been an exciting week. As I was trying to recall about my past history uh, involving the Okinawan culture. I know. I'm actually really excited. I got a small glimpse of some of these videos and I was like, oh man, I haven't seen them in a long time. <laughs> uh, I'm excited for to see the whole thing. I only got small glimpses. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much, Scotty, for joining us. Well, thank um, you so again. Kind of start from the beginning. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of a. a um, <laughs> I don't want to say long journey because I'm going to make sound like you're so old, but like it's kind of a long journey, right? And let's maybe go back with your family roots. Um, yeah, um, um, my parents are uh, Sho and Naomi Moriyama, and my brother's Ricky Moriyama. And pretty much growing up, you know, I, I was uh, around Okinawan culture and I like to play the sanshin and listen to Okinawan music. And then uh, I also like to read and talk about Okinawan culture, and I, used, I like to watch things. I've got stuff on TV I like to watch. So going, ba going back uh, in his history, um, my father is actually a niece. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. My father is an Issei, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm a Nisei. Mm -hmm. And my, on my mother's side, she's uh, Sansei. So I'll be a Yonsei. <laughs> Is that kind of cool? 2.5. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so my dad is on from Tamagusku side, and my mother is from Cochin. Mm. Wow. So you have. Yeah, I, I, I always wondered yeah, how they figured that out when you. People want to say, but I'm on this side. I'm, you know, Nisei. On this side, I'm Gosei or something. And how do you represent yourself? Your Nihase. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, I think as we get older, you know, it's gonna get harder and harder. It's not as clear of a line, you know. Before it was mm -hmm. Isei, Nisei, Sansei, uh, but now we're all over the place. You know, multicultural, multi generational. Uh, but that's kind of the beauty of it all, right? Yeah. yeah. And Scotty uh, is not only multi-generational in that respect. This guy is multi-talented. Yes, so, he comes know. from a very talented family, yeah? So let's, I think we have some photos. Wow, this is, I, I'm glad the old school timestamp is on there. So 1989, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, I know you have some other uh, dance. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go through some of these photos. Yeah, and see what do we got here. Oh. Scotty, Scotty provided some oh. great photos. This one, if you see under kimono, it says Daigo. Oh and yeah, I'm pretty hi, hi. sure. Pretty sure this is a Daigo Club event. Wow! And that's a uh, Jimmy Maeda playing the Sun Uh Kazuo Shiro, Mineo Odo, and I'm sorry, I don't know the. The gentleman on the left side of my dad, but my dad is the one looking towards the camera. <laughs> the one far, the far, the far right. I, I the think. Samba. I, well, I'm, I'm, I'm in, kind of interested. I see the guy on the end with the, the yeah, maraca, and then and you have the, the kind Congo. of a Congo drum, Congo Isa drums. 
So Kung Fu Ninja. Ninja. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they got creative back then too. So this was, yeah, they, I, I recognize that backdrop. This is, Where, what hall is this? Yeah, is this I have seen King's, it in pictures. On King Street? I'm not sure on Somebody this Somebody in the one. comments. <laughs> recognize this backdrop. Tell us where it is because I've seen it in other people's pictures too. Okay. But yeah, right. this is yeah when my dad was um, just starting and oh this is a a picture with the <laughs> sorry do you, do you do you know the gentleman in the middle? Carrie, okay, I see that's, Kyoshi uh, Kinjo. No, no, that's not Kyoshi. That's Kino. not Kyoshi Kinjo. Wait, that's on the Kino. right is your dad, right? That, or oh, uh, my dad is on on the right. Mm -hmm. And then the tall gentleman is Ryose Oshiro. Oh my goodness. Teishin, Teishin Kai. Wow. And the middle is Kinasho Oe. Kinasho oh. Kichi's father. Oh. Wow. <laughs> and this is during the Hanagasa days. Oh man. This is a. Uh... <laughs> I am, I am <laughs> just, uh, I'm taking a, I, I got to see what Rose looks like with a lot of hair. <laughs> this is great. Oh, I hope we have more, um, photos. Okay. And, and you gotta, you gotta love those white belts with the double buckles. Yes. You know? <laughs> so I mean, perfect. that's, that's all like seventies and Santa. So my dad did the shishim, my when he was young also, I believe it might be, uh, I'm not sure if that's a Farrington high school photo on the left. I'm not sure about the right, but he did the Shishimai at the Jiku and Bon dances back in the day. We sure. still, that looks like the, either the Azagushikawa Shishi. Mm -hmm. Or 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 the kin shishi. Oh. Now now it's gonna bother John and he's gonna <laughs> go and look it up. Yeah. <laughs> like right now on his <laughs> oh no these No, are I mean uh these the, we we are current Hoka currently Hoka uses the shishi, but yeah, I was gonna um, say very familiar. I, I'm actually I, I are you are you folks kin? Kin Club? Kin Club. Oh, no, Tamagusku. Tamagusku? Okay, because that looks like the Kin Shishi. But uh, that's that's a great photo that they were they were performing in the Shishi. Yeah, I, yeah. all I remember was this was the Jikoen Shishi. Mm. Mm. Nice. Okay. <laughs> what else do we have? Let's see. Oh. Is, <laughs> that, the, that's... Uh, Kiyoshi King. Yes, yes. Yeah, and this is picture was taken during the Hanagasa days. Hanagasa. Yeah. Well, I'm sure so was, this is yeah. back <laughs> memories for a lot of people. Uh, I think people saw your dad and Kiyoshi Kinzo at almost every function. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Linda's saying my parents are loving these photos, right? I'm sure if my dad was around, he would absolutely love these photos. Too. Oh, this is great. Um, <laughs> so tell us a little bit about you know like I mentioned that they were they were they often played jikata at um, various events. So tell us like how, how that came about and what you maybe remember and hearing stories from your dad. Like they were literally the go-to guys. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, anytime when they had like a like a recital you know, or performance, and they would practice jikata on Sunday mornings at my house so the reason why i knew they were over because when i was sleeping i could hear the you know, music playing in the background <laughs> so sometimes uh you know i mean it was kind of in interesting growing up hearing the music in the background and you know sometimes i would you know get interested and join in and watch or play along and but it was really ni nice um, having uh, to meet Ki Kiyoshi, Uncle Ki I call him Uncle Kiyoshi. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he, back in the, the day during like uh, New Year's time, you know, all my dad's friends, they would invite them and everybody would play a song at the house. And my mom would make like a Okinawa, 
so, so kibune mm. <laughs> spirit suit so that's everybody who want to come over and eat and play Okinawan music yeah, yeah, I see uh, Richie Yamashiroi oh, yeah, Richie. in this photo. Uh, oh, wait, let's go. Let's go back one photo. I want to ask uh, Scotty, you know, you have Kyoshi Rose and the gentleman on the far right. That's your dad? Yeah, Who's? my dad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. he has a six string sunshine. Sunshine, yes. Yeah. Oh, so he had a double, each note double string. Yeah, double string. Wow. I think this one is at Natsunoya, I think. Yeah, that looks like Natsunoya. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I, I recognize like the background, right? Oh man, this is great. So this is looks like 2001. Yeah, a little bit more recent, but yes. Yeah. Oh. Uh, this is a uh, China Sadao <laughs> Yeah. Wow. So this is where uh, um, the a lot of the connections I've got for like um, Okinawa music, like uh, through Kina Sadao, and my dad mm -hmm. knew like uh, the Kina family, Kina Shoe, mm -hmm. Kina Shokichi, Kina Keiko, and Sachiko and Junko. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, so see. your dad had already established his relationships before coming to Hawaii. Actually, my dad didn't know how to play the sunshing at all. <laughs> so coming really? here, yeah, because he came here when he was, I think, a, a young kid, oh. like in the before high school, I think. Mm. What's you doing? <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I guess like back in the day, you know, you find connections. You know, maybe when you go high school, you meet up with another uchinanchu, and you know. The connection grew and then maybe the interest was within okinawan music mm. you know being far away from home and and you know missing the culture and the music okay so that's a great that's a great photo. photo yeah tell that's, us about this photo that's the haisa ojisan that haisa ojisan, my, yeah. yeah my dad's uh known for <laughs> and he also sings it on the chibario hawaii oh the chibario hawaii cd Hey, so yeah. yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. Yeah. And don't forget, if you don't know what Scotty's talking about, you can get that CD on our marketplace. Oh. <laughs> yes. So the hi sayoji san, right? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. And so I think there's a little bit of that performance, right, that we have. Yes. Um so how did he become known to perform this? <laughs> uh my dad was kind of a comical kind of guy. And he liked to joke around and, you know, tell jokes among his friends. And especially, I, I couldn't understand the Uchina Gucci, but when mm -hmm. he was talking among his friends and stuff, I, 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 I know it was something really comical. <laughs> yeah, even if you can't quite understand the words, you get the feeling, right? And so yeah. I think we have a video of your father, Shoe Moriyama, who was just famous in the Uchinanchu <laughs> community here in Hawaii for his rendition of Haisa Yoji-san. And let's see if we can cue that one up. I'm 
<laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sure that's going to bring a lot of joy to people to see that again. They haven't seen that in yeah. so many years. Yeah. About do you know about when that was uh, taken? Uh, that might have been, I think, maybe in the 2000 or late 90s. Mm, that's a great video. <laughs> yeah, see Karen Takara saying that she saw this a terrific video of show and i think that's how a lot of us remember him yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, wonderful wonderful so i know we have a few more photos too that talk to us uh that show us about um i think some more of your history you know because you have it's not oh. just sanchin but you have like yeah. um dance and let's see and other you know forms that of okinawan uh oh <laughs> that is, is he holding uh, that's your dad. That's Kama, yes. your dad, yeah. Mm. Yeah. This is, this so is he did. Masas, he yeah? was known for his uh, hatama karate, and I really got to actually see it actually live. But mm. I seen I got to see it once, but I've never seen it done too much anywhere. So mm. there's a video clip, so. It's a, gonna be a treat for everybody to actually nice. see it again. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So we have another clip, I know, but let's. This this is a photo of your father doing, uh, kama. Yeah. Are yes. Those, yeah. Kama. Yes. Oh, uh, sickles. Yeah. For those, you know what yeah. the kama yeah. is. It's actually, um, what I was surprised at when I got to train in Okinawa is like I thought they would have like fake ones for us to practice with no they go to the hardware store and they buy <laughs> off the and they just kind of shave them down a little bit right they dull it down a little bit and that's what they use to practice with. so he bought these and then modified it and kind of made it look for his his own yeah. Mm. Yeah. oh wow <laughs> Wow, what is this? This is his younger photos, uh, I guess, practicing karate. Boy, they, they look like they're at Palama Settlement or something. I think so, yeah. I think it might be Palama Settlement. Yeah. But these are our only photos that I've ever seen. But I I, I was already, uh, I think my karate, my dad's karate days were already finished by the time I kind of knew about my, my dad's background. <laughs> yeah. 
my back sore just looking at that man <laughs> um, you know what style he practiced i think it was the shodin you shodin you yeah yes. very nice <laughs> stuff okay let's see are there other um we have a few other videos right we wanted to share of uh talking about karate and hatomabushi so i think this is um yeah we have a video is yeah, that yes. dad? yeah let's see yes. if we can cue that one up You know that the uh, setup doesn't look familiar. Where where was did that, that performance take Finland? place? Uh, that was in Los Angeles, Elysian oh, Park. No wonder. This was at the Hokubei Okinawa picnic, mm. and this was a event where uh, Kiyoshi Kinjo took uh, the male dancers. Uh, it was uh, myself, my dad, uh, my brother Ricky, uh, Keith Oshiro, uh, Eric Wana. Wow, what a lineup! <laughs> Wow. Wow. Do you know about what year that was? Uh, that was 1985. 85. I got to tell you a story about this. Event. Uh, you know, it was an open top, open top type of stage. And the first time we got um, the first number, I remember that day was so hot. The, 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 the vinyl on the stage was like a 
<laughs> almost like a burning oh. pencil. Oh. Oh. Dancing, my wifey was like burning and cooking. It's kind of like dancing on a frying pan. So your steps look really crisp. <laughs> 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 oh, that's probably not something they thought about until after. Yeah. Oops. Oh, that's hilarious. Wow. That is a treasure, that video. Thank you so much for yeah. sharing with us. Oh, you're welcome. Mm. If we have a message from Kim, Keiko and Tina saying, Oh, Scott, thank you so much for sharing. These are so natsukashi. Natsukashi. Oh, arigatou gozaimasu. Um, yeah. Thank you. I think um, for many people, you know, it's the sound and also your dad's voice. Um, that many of us are used to hearing who grew up, you know, were in the community back in the 80s, 90s, um, yeah. and 70s, right? Before that, sorry, that, that's my <laughs> yeah. Opinion, <but> like, <laughs> um, yeah, these are so great, and I'm so glad we're going to be able to share them with a wide community on YouTube, you know, uh, that, that yeah. actually, we're excited that we can preserve these for mm -hmm. you know, future Thank generations. You. Um, so I'm, I'm assuming you had to digitize that somehow, right? You probably had it on a I to VHS or a VHS and then transfer it to your DVD. Oh, I'm sure you have lots yeah. of really, really, you know, special videos. So thank yeah. you for sharing that with us. You're welcome. And your dad wasn't only involved with performances. I mean, he was very handy. He, he also made a lot of things. Yeah, he did a lot of uh, backstage drops for the uh, a lot of these Okinawa performances. A lot of the dance theaters he made uh, dance props. Right, and, I think we have some photos yeah. of that, don't we? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, so if you've seen yeah. these at uh, past Okinawan festivals or a lot of the performances, these these <clears throat> uh, things were uh, th things that your dad made, right? Not just painted, yes. but actually made. Yes. Yeah. 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 Right, I mean, that gate is impressive, that shooting one gate. And uh, what I wanted to point out is if you look carefully, you see the ryu or dragon wrapped around the, the gate. And, you know, there was a time when Hoka, uh, our creative arts, were looking for a ryu to use in our performance. And I was, uh, walk, you know, digging around backstage and this claw hit me in the face, <laughs> almost like saying, hey, I'm here. And so, I climbed up there and sure enough, I found this dragon. And so we started using that. And Scotty was the one that told me, hey, you know what? That's the one my dad made. And I was like, what? You know, and so, uh, and that's that's where you see it uh, when it was uh, at the Okinawa Festival, I believe. And then below, he's making the parts for the Hatagashira. Yeah, the, the decoration top, yeah, the top, the Hatagashira. The top they, wow. I think they were they were used during the Okage Sama Day opening ceremonies for the Hawaii Okinawa Center. Wow. Yeah. So maybe the, the other one on the left is the UIA, um, the, the Hawaii United Okinawa Station, the logo, but uh, uh, he he just only paint did the paint the paint yeah. part. Yeah. So the original design was by Chick Takara, right? And then I think yeah. he added the colors. Beautiful. But some of the you can still find some of his I noticed you can find some of his works like in the uh, in the library the the plantation mannequins oh, yeah. oh yeah. that's yeah, right my, my dad made those plantation mannequins he made those yeah yeah wow i could tell you a story about that but when he first made it and then he had it ready to go he had it stuffed all the way in, in the back of our garage and then i think i came home late one <laughs> night and i'm reversing and thinking Who's that standing in, in the garage in the dark? I forgot that that's the mannequins that he had made. I don't think they're good, good security protocol, man. They scare people yeah. away. Yeah. They're, they're standing over it's you. Like you don't do with the cane, the cane knife, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they like so this. today they, they still uh you know every time Lynn sees it, she's like, whoa. Yeah, I'm like, oh yeah. And I'm like, you know, the lights aren't on or you know, not everyone's there yet. I go in and flip the lights on and thorns are standing there. <laughs> <laughs> oh man so talented i swear wow i think we have some other artifacts that i think people will recognize recognize from the past too of uh, that that your dad made that yeah this is the one one of, oh i'm not sure if it's the largest in the world but i i wasn't here at the time but my friend debbie in the photo she had sent me when i was living in okinawa and uh, she sent me a photo of the picture of the Hana, Hanagasa. It actually went over a truck, and I think people actually could stand on the very top. And it was oh my down gosh. Kau Kau Avenue. And there are people standing in the middle, right? Like, Yeah, waving. and then they were <laughs> waving and stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah, I only saw it on photos, but I didn't actually see it for myself live. Yeah. Wow. I'm sure there are people in the audience who remember this. <laughs> okay, and what is this of? Oh, um, besides Okinawan a culture, I also used to take singing lessons from Aoyagi Music Studio, my oh. brother and myself, and guitar lessons from like uh, Wayne Takamine. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and so this I was singing is the Kikaira. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That is cool. That is cool. All right. Oh, and then we're going to oh, go. This is the picture of my brother, Ricky Moriyama. Mm -hmm. So my brother actually started dancing first, and then uh, I was kind of forced into dancing by my mom. So wherever my brother, when well, my brother went to learn, I went to go out and learn also singing, guitar. Okinawa and that sing sunshine. Nice. These are beautiful photos. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful photos. <laughs> Somebody was just mentioning in the comments that they remember the float. That float was there. You know, Cheryl was saying she that was her favorite float during the parade. Oh, <laughs> her favorite float. remember people <laughs> inside like, waving. Yeah. I wish I could have seen it. <laughs> yeah, that was uh yeah, Kalakawa and the I gotta be, I oh, think wait. you can claim, I'm pretty sure you can claim world's largest Hanagasa. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty, we're charging you to re rebuild that Hanagasa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 2025. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scotty, we have a project for you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, growing up, um, those are some great photos of you and your brother. So tell us a little bit about um, those years and, and how, you know, you said like kind of everywhere where he went. <laughs> you yeah. So we actually uh, learned dancing from the Nakasone Ryubu Kenkyu Show. But mm. now I know the, now, now the name has changed. Well, this was a, a, one of the recitals of me performing at the, I think it was at the M NBC. NBC the Hall. Still, yeah. yeah. The concert hall. And uh, we started uh, actually dancing for like uh, you know, Shinin Kai's and mm -hmm. you know, at that during that time, like uh, uh, Grant Murata Sensei and Glenn mm -hmm. Miyahira, mm -hmm. Nobuko Tanaka, they would be you know playing the Jikata music and had mm -hmm. Derek Ichiro Sensei mm -hmm. and then Kit Nakaganeku playing Taiko. <laughs> and uh, Grant would take us to like New Year's parties or even performing at the shopping malls and 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 this was um, uh, this was also at a, either a recital or it might have been a performance at one of the hotels, I think. Ah, wow, great. But actually, I, I didn't know how to put on the makeup. My mom actually was the one that did the makeup. Mm. Yeah, that's a, that's a skill. I, I danced for a while and I couldn't, I never knew how to put on my own makeup either. I just, you just sit there. Don't move. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch your face. So. Oh, wow, 1999. I think the picture in there, that's uh, Linda Asato. Yeah, Linda. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I think that's, um, so this is John Tasato's year. And uh, John Tasato is being installed. Oh, yeah, Gino. Gino one, mm. the Gino one flag is up there, yeah. And um, mm. wow, what a flashback. <laughs> Linda's watching and she said her parents are so happy. They're watching this and they're so like, they're so happy right now. Oh, this is great. Oh, I'm so glad you have all these photos. What else do you got? And there's more. Hey. Hey, wow, nice. Uh, yeah, this is when I uh, started to learn uh, classical or putting style from uh, Shinsato Shosei Kai. Oh. And me and my brother were um, to learn uh, the classical style. And on the bottom, I'm not sure if you know uh, Linda and Jenny Kubo, the Kubo sisters, yep. that yep. that also dance with uh, Akasone uh, mm -hmm. Dance Studio. And this picture, or this is the article for the either the Akino Taikai or or uh, Haru no Taikai, where the all the don't mind me, I like you, <laughs> all the Nomura Ryu schools would get together and perform at Natsunai. Oh, yeah. the Koto schools and the Sunshine schools. Right. Oh, yeah. This was 1983, so I was only 13 years old. Wow, so cool. Yeah. See? So all the 13-year-olds right now watching, you can, you can 
Don't worry, you can <laughs> talk to live later. <laughs> Wow. And again, uh, yeah, these are some of the other uh, articles. Uh, this is the young Kinanj performing at the Lanakila uh, Senior Center for their mm -hmm. Christmas uh, Christmas uh, performance. And that's uh, Eric, if you see Eric uh, Wada on yeah. the right, and Debbie Nakamoto. You can't see who's in the back, but that's Glenn Miyahira. And I think that's... Uh, it says Lin Lin Yamashiro. Lin Yamashiro, yeah. Sorry, don't mind me. I'm getting real close so I can read it. <laughs> wow, these are great. And it's a tradition that still the young Kinawans of Hawaii keep today. Yeah. Yes. So, <laughs> have a really um, close relationship with the Lanakila Ninj, um, Ninchosha Club. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is the uh, Shishimai. When I first did the Shishimai, I did it with uh, Wesley Williamson. And this was through the young Kinawans of Hawaii. Yes, Very now Dr. Professor Winton <laughs> up in San Francisco. But you folks had fun under there, and that's one of our connections because, you know, I first performed in this Haibaru Shishi, and, uh, and you mentioned that to me a while back. It's like, hey, I used to perform in the Shishi. <laughs> that, is, that is the Haibaru Shishi with the heavy head. Yeah, it's a heavy <laughs> head, yeah. Yeah, you like got to be really strong and fit, I mean, in condition to dance and perform with that. Oh, this is so great. I wonder if Wes, yeah. we got to show Wes after. <laughs> right, in that picture, it says that you were a senior at McKinley in that photo. Like, oh, wow. yeah. Seen, uh, wow. Senior. Yes, yeah. Okay, so now we go to Asa. All right. Asa. So tell us about your um, Asa history. Asa, uh, I actually picked up the Asa through the Young Kinawans of Hawaii, but at the time, I was only like 12 or 13. Mm -hmm. And uh, my friend of mine who was a member, Debbie Nakamoto, uh, was, mm -hmm. I remember way back during the Wainai Bone Dance. And I was just sitting around and they told me, oh, come join in, join in, go play the taiko. So uh started hitting taiko and enjoyed it and tried to come every time when, come out every time when they had their performances. Yeah. But at that time, I wasn't actually a member because you had to be 18 years old, you know, back then. So I was actually an on, honor so cool. member. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, that's okay. That's okay, it, right? Yeah. And then they, oh. the, the black uniforms are the uh, Hawaii, uh, Hawaii Okina Matsuri Taiko. Mm. <laughs> that was kind of uh, first started. Uh, the bottom picture, you would see a, a, a Gordon Uehara, Milton Onna, Grant Murata Sensei, Isaac Kokama, and Tom Kobashigawa. Wow. <laughs> and this was at Thomas Square Park? Oh, the, up, the, the, the one on the top is the, uh, yeah, Thomas Square Park. Oh. The Okinawan okay. Festival was held at Thomas Square Park. Wow. It's so cool. See, these are going to be the things, you know, like, um, I think for, like, my generation, the ones, you know, younger than me, they hear about, you know, the, the park, you know, or, like, even Kapiolani Park now, right? Or, you know, when the thing used to be at Thomas Square or McCoy Pavilion, and we only hear about it, but it's really cool to see um, <laughs> photos of it, you know, because a lot of us have seen family photos of this. Oh, wow, <laughs> Gail Tomlinson. <laughs> yeah. Gail this one I was, so when actually I was of age, I became a, uh, one of the board of directors for the social activity side for the young Kinata boy. Gail was my Japanese teacher in high school. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Her daughter is, is close to my age, so yeah. Uh, this was a performance that we all did together. Uh, if you notice, um, uh, Eric Wada Sensei, mm -hmm. Norman mm -hmm. Sensei, mm -hmm. the one with the beard is Keith Shimabukuro. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jolene, mm -hmm. and the one at the, the little child on the far left is Derek Fujio. Oh, <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the, uh, the one that, I, that's Debbie Nakamoto. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm sorry, I, I can't remember her name, but uh, she also used to dance with uh, Derek. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this yeah. is great. Beautiful photos, wow. Oh, this one, yeah, this one was a, a 
uh, another yoke performance for a Christmas party for the, se the, sen the senior citizen uh, dinner. It, it was either at the Pacific Beach Hotel or Sheraton. I think at the Pacific Beach Hotel. I think. And this is the time when Lynn, your your father had also performed. He was a sumo, a sumo doll <laughs> that came that came to life. There was this um, skit was called the night the night before Christmas Okinawan style. <laughs> That is great. I was gonna say so this is like the, 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 it's like a, a full size costume, right? They're like the the dolls that you yeah. <laughs> like the doll case. Oh, yeah, the doll case, yeah. Oh, my dad used to love no oh, man the sumo tori costume, and then he had remember back in the day they used to wear the big hats, and they used to paint their beds. <laughs> oh oh yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the Hesso, yeah. Hesso yes. dance. The Hesso dance, yeah. The belly button dance, yeah. Oh, I have, I have uh, trauma from that, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that's one of those things that, um, one of those traditions that went away. <laughs> wow, okay. So what is this? This yeah, is, this is uh, another uh, article from the Hawaii Herald. And uh, this is, uh, I think they wanted to, a showcase of uh, article about me and back then in high school I actually I never told only some of my close friends knew what I did but uh, I, I never really told anyone what I did and it was there was this one time when I remember a friend of mine in high school we we're just talking about oh, what did, what did you do over the weekend and I, did, <laughs> I remember <laughs> performing at uh, Izumo Taisha at that time mm -hmm. and I said oh I just performed at Izumo Taisha I said, really I performed at Izumo Taisha also, really. Hmm? And then I, I come to find out she actually did the Japanese uh, traditional dancing. <laughs> and from then on, she was she, know that she actually, about each other. she was kind of, she, she hid her identity too, so just <laughs> like me. <laughs> After that, we, you know, we, we talked about, you know, traditional dancing and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, look at that, a young Derek and Grant. Yeah, young Derek oh, and Grant. Oh, wow. Yeah. This one again was at the Thomas Square. Mm -hmm. Park. Thomas Square, 1987. Oh, wow. And this is Hawaii this Taikai? This is Hawaii Taikai when it was first established when Ichiro Sensei was teaching. Oh, I see. I see. So yeah. he, he started teaching that, yeah? It was a Mitsufumi school. Yes, yeah. Uh, yeah, Mitsufumi school style of Taiko playing. I see. Wow, what year was that? 1980s? 80s ish. Um, yeah. around so it's yeah, 88. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one is the 1989 uh, Smithsonian Folklife Festival. Uh, um, eight, 89, uh, the uh, Smithsonian chose like a representative uh, state, and Hawaii was chosen. And there were like uh, hundreds of artisans, like um, from different backgrounds, like Korean, Japanese, Portuguese, Hawaiian, Samoan, and everyone came and per uh, performed their arts whether it was in cooking or make, making crafts or singing or dancing and we happened to uh take a picture with the, the chinese performers when they performed the chinese lion dance this time uh norman Kanichiro was my yeah, norman my right dance yeah norman <laughs> yeah. Right, i'm getting really close to the camera because i'm trying to yeah. <laughs> norman Kanichiro. and and now that i see the shishi again that is the azagushikawa shishi which is why i think you you recognize it as the jikoen shishi because yeah. they always have their shininkai at uh, jikoen yeah and, uh, i can tell you a story about this one too uh smithsonian we had to perform for two weeks two shows a day sometimes a uh, uh, demonstration show in, in the in the mall and uh every at first couple of days was okay but after the third and fourth day i started to have a black and blue on my shoulder oh my it was so purple so by the time came second week i used to do all those rows and the acrobatic stuff yeah. i used to cringe on going to my brain like, oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But oh wow! That, so this is also a man. great experience. Yeah, yeah. This wow. is another photo also at the festival. That is a great story. I th I hope that, you know, like uh, some of our younger people see, um, we're continuing to keep younger people right in the community. <laughs> we want to show that you know we, we want to give them similar experiences like this. You know, COVID is um, kind of putting a lot of travel plans. Um, 
dampering them. But wow, I mean, the places you've gone. And so this is... Like, <laughs> This is in Okinawa. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, this um, on the right side is China Sadao Sensei, and on the left is Mototake Yusuke, who's also a, a, a professional uh, uh, entertainer in Okinawa. Oh. And this is at the Sunshine Bunka Festival. Oh. Actually, when when I first got to Okinawa, my cousin told me, "Hey, I, you're performing at a, a festival, yeah, the Sunshine Bunka Festival." And I said, "No." Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. so she, oh, here she shows me the article, and then there's my name there, and then so, uh, it came. With, I think after all the research and stuff, uh, I think Terukina Sensei Choichi Sensei had recommended that I uh, go in there and perform and represent Hawaii because there were mm. other uh, performers from uh, all over the world and and from Okinawa. So Alberto Shiroma was all, I got to perform on the same stage as Alberto Shromo. Mm. So, and at that time, he still, I think, was before Diamantes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So cool. Yeah. So cool. <laughs> well, you know, um, we want to, we know you play Sanshin. So okay. we want to hear, you know, a little bit of what you can share with us today. So tell us oh, a little bit sure. about how you're going to play for us today. Okay. Uh, I'll be playing uh, Hanjo Bushi. Mm. And and the meaning of Hanjo means to thrive or prosperity. Mm. And I thought maybe this would be a like a good kind of song to sing because, you know, like during this pandemic times, we need to thrive and prosper. And hopefully that, you know, our local businesses mm -hmm. can, you know, have, be successful and thrive during these times. So I'll, today I'll sing for you Hanjo Bushi. <laughs> So I know they have to cut a little bit uh, to help set up the audio. So we'll get that. So, so wow, John, that was a trip down memory lane, right? Holy cow, there's a lot of natsukashi photos. You know, over the years, uh, that's what, you know, every once in a while, Scott and I have this, this discussion about something, and he'll send me these photos, you know, uh, email me a photo and be like, oh, my gosh, you know, and, and so... <laughs> Uh, you know, looking at the photos he provided for Yuntaku tonight is exactly that. Like you said, Natsukushi. Because it's like, oh my, I, I don't even see these photos here at the Okinawa Center. You know, yeah. these are the photos that people have in their homes and in their books. And, you know, no one takes out. And especially in this day and time when everything is electronic. It's whether, you know, if, you know, grandma's not going to take out a photo and then, email it to anybody it's just <laughs> it's sitting in her photo yeah. album you know so we're kind of lucky that uh scotty kind of has that cross uh, you know across the generations that he can pull all these photos together and we get to see and go back in time it's amazing yeah that'll be a big project for our next generation guys uh calling all people who want to help digitize photos that are sitting in your grandparents home or at the okinawan center i think we have a lot of stuff yeah. that needs to be digitized. yeah I, I can't emphasize enough uh you're correct lynn you know uh, right now i'll just you know tell everyone out there uh go through your photos go to and talk use that as an uh you know a reason to talk to your grandparents your parents and mm -hmm. ask them if uh you could digitize these photos uh so that again it, it'll last for you know if it's in the closet somewhere no one's gonna see it so uh you know let's get these out and then like scotty now that we've seen it and it's gonna be not only in his in his photo book it's gonna be online it's gonna be on the yeah. internet so well, we can easily yeah. share it with people now okay let's see if all right we're ready we're, we're ready for his performance okay so we have Hanjo Bushi by Scotty Moriyama. Hanjo to you, Mari no Saki na no Shima ya yome. Urani no iko shati suri kabuku mai na shiyamasu. Uyaki hanjo, masanu hanjo, tsumaka iyamashi. 
Chuku kimi mona shadu ini kani no hitu ga yonne Waka mon no majiri sudi sanaba sanaba iyamachi Uyaki hanjo masaru handa katsumata iyamachi Sakinami ya nabi ya miji o ii ga ya yu na yonne Irushi ga ta ucha ti sudi nagaru chuu na sai yamashi Uyaki hanjo masaru hanjo katsumata iyamashi Awesome. Thank you. That reminds me of um, just hearing his voice. I think uh, it reminds me of Bone Dance. <laughs> mm. yeah. You know, there was a there was a performance. I'm not sure if he's gonna do it tonight, but he even writes his own songs. Uh, and uh, yeah, I should have I should have bugged him about that before tonight. But he he did a performance once where he played uh, his own composition. Okay. Scotty so and yeah, we haven't even gotten to his artistic, I mean, you know, his yep. artistic talent. But um when he comes back on, we want to talk to him about there's a whole uh era. Hey Scotty. That was great, Scotty. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I don't know if you, you couldn't hear me tapping because I was mute had to mute myself. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely I think everyone's everyone's tapping along when Hanjo. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, Thank you. A lot of people who are who are chiming in. This uh, Danielle here from yeah, Harrison and Danielle from LA. I'm talking about how proud <laughs> oh. so good, so good. Friends anyway. in LA. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. awesome. So I wanted to, um, you know, we're kind of traveling through all your many talents here, but there is an era here, and especially for me as a little kid, I looked up to you guys as Nami Kaji. And you guys are so cool. Um, and so yeah. I know we, we want to delve dive into that a little bit. So tell us a little bit about Nami Kaji. And I know you are just one per, one part of the group, yeah? And so tell us yeah. a little bit about that. So in Nami Kaji, actually it first started as a menial group. Mm -hmm. And the time when we're doing the menial, we actually didn't have a name. So... I remember asking, I think, Uda Keiko, and I told her, oh, do you think Nami Kaju would be a, a good name, which is Wave Win? Wave Win. And yeah, and you would always hear it in like Okinawan folk songs. So she said, well, yeah, that's a good name. So I, you know, I guess we went with Nami Kaji and we performed uh, like Minyo at first. And this oh, picture is with uh, the original Derek. members. <sighs> with Derek Ichiro Sensei. Mm -hmm. And then wow. Derek, yeah. Derek actually left the group and he went to continue uh, Hawaiian music at the time. Mm -hmm. And then right before Nami Kaji was gonna come to Okinawa to perform at the first Sekai Uchinanju Taikai, uh, Norman actually brought, I mean, Norm, Norman actually came into the group Nami Kaji and how uh, Norman got into the group, I remember because of the Smithsonian, when we did the Shishimai together, we were actually roommates. And, you know, we used to talk about Okinawa music. And I, was, I told him, oh, you, you'd be kind of cool if you joined the Namikaji group. But when I talked to Eric folks, I remember he said, oh, he should go ask Nakasone Seisho Sensei. Nice. So after he got the okay, and then Norman was able to perform with Nami Kanji. And this is this picture is the Sekai Uchin Nanchi Taikai. 1990. This yeah. is 1990. And this is the world stage, the out, the outdoor stage performances. Mm. So on the bottom that you'll see Norman and the top picture uh, Eric playing the guitar. 
I am going to get really close again. Yeah. <laughs> so, so especially in this photo, because it looks um, almost almost identical to a, a Linkin Band uh, album yeah. cover. So, but uh, yeah. you folks were like uh, Linkin Band like Hawaii. Band. <laughs> so, yeah, right before I was coming back from my year away uh, from the scholarship and then coming back to Hawaii, Eric was already telling me, oh, when you come back, we're going, um, the style of the music change. We're doing uh, Linkin Band music now. So Eric had talked to uh, Teddy Adinkin from Linkin Band to get the okay to do Linkin Band music in Hawaii. And then we did uh, Linkin music in Hawaii. And prior to that, because I was living in Okinawa, I, I went to the Linkin Band <laughs> performances like at the Odeon Gear festivals and these other performances. And I, I also videotaped it and I watched it all, all, all the time. So by the time when I came back home, I was able to do the the dance moves or sing the songs. <laughs> cool. Okay. And again, you know, everything is written all in Japanese. So for me, I gotta write everything out in nomaji because to <laughs> read the Japanese, it's kind of hard to read and sing at the same time. So I gotta write it all in nomaji to learn all these Okinawan um, music and mm -hmm. songs. Yeah. You and well in Hawaii, you have to do that, yeah. So. Look, wow, look at your David Hasselhoff picture. <laughs> oh man, so sexy. <laughs> so, what year was this? so this was uh, 1990, and I believe that was, Lynn, that was the that was the year your dad was uh, the president, president. and I, I'm sure he had a lot of influence about me being sure selected, and because of all the background, mm -hmm. you, you should go to Okinawa and study it you know, uh, study the culture, but the scholarship, the DQ University was for the Japanese language. Mm. Mm. Nice. So you did the Ryudai one, yeah? Ryudai. Yeah, Ryudai. When I came back, and uh, right when I came back, they opened up the Geidai to, for oh. the performing arts. So mm. it's, I was kind of like one year. To, <laughs> yeah. That's okay, that's okay. <laughs> Very cool. This that, yeah. Very cool. This is, yeah. This is the, at the Sanshin Bunka Festival. There. Oh. So I was at the Taikai actually in 1992. Oh. I was <laughs> nine years old. But, <laughs> but I do remember because my dad was telling us, you know, he was so proud that on the world stage, you know, we had a Hawaii group there. And so I remember watching you guys and just thinking like, oh, so cool, you know, so cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just so exciting to kind of see this. Like, again, like John and I were just talking while you were off screen, but by how important it is that we can digitize all these photos and that we have them now <laughs> to share with the world. So <laughs> yeah. what's that? And we have more photos, right, of the Namikaji group. Let's see, and we have a video coming up too. Oh, this is also part yeah. of your Yudai. Yeah, mm. Yudai, yeah, this is our uh, graduation ceremony. And these were all the other students from that were for the different countries like Brazil, Argentina, yeah. Canada, Los Angeles. I wonder if some of Peru, them are yeah, yeah. all over the world. Yeah. And it also really, from Asia. Yeah. Such a wonderful program because like literally mm. how many of our Yuntaku Live um, you know, get has been alumni from this program. And it's because it just it leaves such an indelible mark on you, right? And then the networks you create throughout the whole, the literal worldwide Uchidanchu network, I think started with this program and, and we've just expanded it over the generations. So this is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> there this we go. An, an, another Namikachi photo. Does, does Hoka use this um, uniform? Actually, we have those. That's right, Eric gave it to <laughs> us. And so when we're carrying your father's uh, do you the dragon that's what they're wearing so it, it's still it's still performing and you know for all of you out there i actually have a namikaji uh cd and uh it's it's great to listen to it knowing that it's uh, all local guys singing on the uh, those songs i mean it's so saku music contemporary music but again uh very uh contemporary sound something very different uh, the, this um the design for the uniform was made by uh, Yamochi Mitsuko Sensei. Oh. She has her fashion boutique. 
her daughter is Kana, uh, mm. Kana that also Kana. creates all these uh, fashion uh, wow. music, using Okinawan print and designs. Yeah, you guys' costumes was was half of it. Yeah, I mean, like when you guys went on stage, I was like, "Woo!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, guys yeah, you gotta you gotta dress dress to impress. Yeah. That's right. That's right. This is, this is like, mind, right? So like, you gotta, you gotta look the part. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it. <laughs> Wait, Lynn, I want to hear that expression again. How did what did the audience say? <laughs> you gotta bring it. Woo. Wow, this is so Oh, cool. look at that. The comma. Comma. Uh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> this is the CD cover, right? Yeah, the Namikaji CD cover. Okay. So I think we have a video <clears throat> to share with everyone. Because I know for those of you who have never experienced a Namikaji performance, um, we do have a video to share with you. And it is a special, special little video. I got to see like two seconds of it earlier. So I'm really excited. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Let me cue that up. Video. So we have Nami Kaji's. <laughs> Childhood. Oh yeah, you know, and that's such a great cover of Shichigwachi Esa, you know, um, you know, very familiar with that song because we used it a lot for Shishimai and to see Namikaji doing that sounds just like Lincoln Band, you know. Um, but, we, you know, Scotty wants to do another special song and uh, he has a, 
a lot of uh, reason to do this song tonight. I'm going to let him explain uh, the next song and introduce it uh, himself. So let's welcome back Scotty, a live performance. I wanted to do for you folks, uh, Madi Jima Yunta. Uh, when I was uh, when I first went to Okinawa and during in 1990, I went and when I got uh, invited to perform at the Sanshin Bunko Festival, there was a group called uh, Super Kijimuna and the singer of uh, Mototake Yusuke. And when I first saw them combine Okinawa music with rock music, I was really captivated of style that they did. Um, the drummer, the taiko player was a heavy metal singer and Mototake Yusuke is, is a folk musician and when they combined both styles together, I was really impressive press of their music. So I was gonna do for you guys uh, Umari Jima Yunta, which pretty much talks about the, uh, the, the area of Yayama and how they reminisce of the reminiscing of the islands, the Yayama Islands and that island feeling and and the lifestyle of the island. Arijima Yunta. Scotty, that was beautiful. Um, uh oh, John, are you muted? Anyway, thank you so much, Scotty. That was a wonderful rendition, and I'm so happy we got that recorded. Um, okay, Kit. 
Let's see. Oh, okay. um, we want to. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, the sound okay. of his voice, uh, you know, again, okay. it, it, it's just so soulful. Uh, I just enjoy hearing his voice. Uh, but of, at the same time, I can't help but looking at his shirt, you know, and seeing the, it looks like Kiss, but it's actually Chondara. Yeah, you got to stick out your tongue when you say, Isa. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> That's a great shirt. You uh, you got you got that from Okinawa, I'm assuming, right? Oh. <laughs> I, I was wondering if you had actually drawn that shirt because I know that you have. I wish I did. <laughs> um. Yeah, we want to get into that, but I know um, you know there's a lot of friends watching, and I I, I know you have some more photos of uh, a lot of uh, people from uh, you know days gone by, as well as current friends. I want to see some of those uh, friends. Uh, this is a picture with uh, Ichiro Sensei at the Lanikila Seniors. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I kind of miss these days performing for the seniors at the center. Oh, there's Derek and Richie. Yeah. This yeah. is for the, the Jikata Bon Dance for the uh, young Kinawan mm -hmm. This is when I uh, came back again to doing uh, music for a little while. Look at that sunshine, that, uh, air, that steel guitar sunshine. That was an <laughs> su electric sunshine that my father had made. Wow. He was actually going to throw the guitar away, but he salvaged the parts and then cre recreated <laughs> uh, electric sound switching. <laughs> nice. Let's see. What else do we have? Oh, the, the crew. <laughs> the crew. Oh, this again, the uh, young Okinawan bone dance. Okinawan uh, bone dance. The yeah. Risho Kosei. Chikata. Bone dance. Oh. This is uh, at the Ichiro Sensei's Uta Gokuru performance. Mm. Oh, beautiful. I know a lot of us. Oh, wow. Oh, thank you. Uh, in Tomoko. Thank you, Tomoko. This is in o Okinawa when I was living there. And the group I talked about earlier uh, on the left side is uh, Miyanaga Eichi. He's the heavy metal drummer. Yeah. For, uh, uh, he's to play, perform for uh, Condition Green and wow. Murasaki. So that's him at the bottom photo performing with the Taikos. Oh. So when I saw that for the first time, I, I, I was totally shocked and like how much Okinawa music can sound with rock influence yeah. and traditional folk style. And on the right is uh, Kina Tomoko. Mm -hmm. She's mm -hmm. the original sing singer um, that sang Hana. And mm -hmm. she was part of the Champudus, Kina Shokichi and Champudus. Champudus, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh wow uh, Ken Marie uh, wow. she's also a, a Okinawa rock singer mm. in Okinawa this was during the Uchinachi Taikai so cool yeah and on the right side is the Kina family Kina Keiko mm -hmm. and Sachiko and Mas They've been Masa. a few times right the Kina Keiko yeah. Kina family yeah. yes so you have Way back. <laughs> and I'm sure now some people are saying, what is that awesome design behind you? Right? <laughs> Besides playing so, Sunshine and yeah. doing Shimai and Okinawa Dance and all this, yeah. Scott is also a wonderful artist. <laughs> yeah, I like to draw Okinawa designs. And sometimes I get together with like uh, Gordon Uhara, Kenneth Kawaguchi and Clinton Leong with Shark Dog Designs and designed the uh, some of the Okinawa Festa, Festival T-shirts. So you've designed the one that you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some of the some of the T-shirt designs, yeah. Oh, this nice. is yeah. this. Maybe one of the Okinawa Festival designs. I think I remember <laughs> this. I'm trying to place it what year it was. It was like 90s. Yeah. No. <laughs> Early 2000s, 2000, maybe. Yeah, maybe, yeah. 2000s, yeah. Okinawa Dreamu Rando. Dreamu Rando. These are also uh, Okinawa Festival designs. The one on the left, uh, th this was a back design, but the front said Tun Tun Ten. Mm, I remember like, that when one. You, when you mm -hmm. <laughs> Tun Tun Ten. <laughs> yeah. And then on the right side is the new Q Wave Rider. This is one of my favorite. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, we this actually so uh, 
<laughs> yeah, we shot it that me with the kimono and the surfboard in Gordon's Gordon's house, and everything was photoshopped. <laughs> yeah. Wow! Wait, that's but so cool. A, a, yeah, Photoshop yeah. image. Wow. Yeah, I think this one sold out in the first day. Oh. Yeah. These are just uh, sketches. Actually, the Asa man was used for the 2016 design, but that was the year during the hurricane. Oh, that's it right. Was canceled. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it made it Gordon, on the yeah. that went out everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Gordon, Gordon needed a design, so he said if I, he could use the Asa man. So he used the design and then he uh, put in the other touch ups, including the face and uh, surrounding designs. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> These are just other sketches that I just like to draw sometimes. And hopefully it gives me like ideas. <laughs> so uh, that's the Undergy uh, under right? Mobile. <laughs> uh, this is a, I get it uh, now. Me yeah. Daime. Yeah, yeah. Me Daime. Yeah. I get they it now. asked for a design. So yeah, this is one of the designs that I, I designed for their, one of their t-shirt designs. Yeah, I thought when I saw that uh, design a, a while back, I thought, wow, that is so creative. That's cool. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Nidai Mete Shinkai yeah, is uh, the two. That's so sometimes crazy. I like to do paintings, and uh, Ichiro Sensei said if he could use um, the Shisa design for his Uta Gukuru performance booklet. Mm. And <laughs> on the right side is uh, Isa, is also uh, another painting and spray painting and hand painting. Wow, you Actually, I did, to, yeah, yeah, I did four of these, yeah. yeah. The Shisa, Isame, Miyarabi, and Goya. Wow. So they kind of four go together <laughs> as a unit. <laughs> hmm, getting ideas here. Hang on. Yes, already. I'm a, remember now, we have the uh, HUA Marketplace. And, mm -hmm. and oh. so these designs are current designs, yeah. The Mahalo Ayakari. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to tell, uh, thank you. Thank you to uh, Alison Yanagi and Lynette Teruya <laughs> and Jody Ching for using my designs in their booklet book yes. book project. There's actually a lot of Scotty's work in here. <laughs> that um, for those of you, this is this book is actually still on sale. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, John, on the shophoa.com. I believe we do still have some some uh, yes. Comments. So you can. I will share, but yeah, another great. <laughs> of, of course, now that we now that we showed it again on Yuntaku Live, if you don't order it tonight, it's gonna sell out. <laughs> uh, I already got my web. Yeah, I was like, just checking to make sure it's still on here. But yeah, it's still here. Oh, I, I, I forgot to tell you about these designs, these current ones. There's actually hidden sunshines in the photo. If you go back to the other one, then uh, oh yeah, yeah, there's a hidden sunshin in the pineapple and in the goya. So right at the very bottom right, oh, there's yeah. a three <laughs> sambong. Oh, that's uh, right. Karakui. I see. One of the scales for the pineapple on the the third the third pineapple. Yeah. At the very bottom in the corner. Kind of has the shape of a sunshine. In oh. the go in the Goya, it's in the upper left in or one left of the curly corner. cues. Yeah. Yeah. In the oh, curly yeah. cues. Yeah. Where's so, Sunshine? Gonna be, this whole video, they're going to have be really, really close to this. <laughs> oh, I this see has, this one on the fence poles. Yeah, in the fence yeah. poles and also <laughs> in the kimono, the red the red Sunshine. Oh, yeah. yeah wow. Yeah. Oh, now that you told us the secret, we're going <laughs> to... <laughs> <laughs> this one is inside the, the rope of the taiko, right below the stick. I see, I see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Representation of Obon. <laughs> you know, now when I, when I look at Scotty and he's, you know, if he's unshaven, I'm going to look for the design of the sunshine on his face now. <laughs> and it, right here. This is the hidden sunshine, yeah. Right by his whisker or chin or cheek. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, wow. like, oh, sorry, my camera is not like me get getting that close. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. Well, oh, thank you. So, yeah, if you can't tell, Scotty is so talented. Just like, you know, not with exactly. Scotty is so talented. Um, 
just like your father, you know, and like somebody else had mentioned earlier, a uh, man of many talents, um, not just performing arts, but also in the uh, creative arts, in the print arts. And we're so, so, I'm sorry, I'm going to try and refocus. <laughs> So happy to have you part of our Okinawan community and so proud that we can share this with everyone in a digital format, right? <laughs> Thank For you. Wait, don't 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 focus, Lynn. I think I can see the sunshine in the orchid. Right. It's <laughs> great. <laughs> so I keep growing my number of plants back here. <laughs> oh, this has been so much fun, Scotty. You know, that's uh, a lot of information uh, that we covered tonight. I think people got to learn so much more about you. Um, you know, I always have to laugh. Like I said, I see you everywhere. In fact, just a week ago, I was at, uh, you know, right by um, Kamehameha Shopping Center. Kamehameha Shopping Center by, and I'm just sitting in my truck and I see Scotty walking with a bag of groceries. And I'm thinking, where's he going? He's headed toward Liki Liki. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I forgot that he lives nearby. So he walks all the way to the grocery store yeah. and walks all the way home. Yeah, my wife and I, we walk around the Kalihi and go on up. Our walk, exercise walk. Yeah, that's when we can actually do it. <laughs> so again, uh, always fun to run into you and and talk story. And now that we got to share so much of your stories and those wonderful photos with everyone watching Yuntaku Live tonight, uh, I can't thank you much, uh, enough. And you know, again, Ipeni Hedebiru for joining us and on um, Yuntaku Live thirty two. Thank you so much, everybody, for supporting me and guiding me through my my almost my entire life. <laughs> well, we're waiting for a lot more. You know, there's yeah. so much more. I know that you you have to. <laughs> the new generation is just like has just you know become awoke to this. So now we're gonna yeah. oh Scotty for this oh Scotty for that. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. And again, thank you to all of us, um, everyone watching. Um, this was a great episode. I like texted my sister. I was like, hey, Annie, you got to watch this. You know, like, it's so good. Like, you got to watch the videos of Nami Kandi. You remember that? <laughs> I know for a lot of people, it's going to be really great. So once again, thank you. And thank you to all our reviewers for joining us for another episode yes. of HOA's Yuntaku Live. Thank you. Okay.